how's it going everybody what are we looking at here this is a sea slug called armina we will today discuss what this sea slug feeds on but i will give you a few options i will not tell you the true answer you can answer this quiz by leaving a comment below the video I cannot offer you cash prizes or an African elephant as a price, but I can offer you marine bio knowledge brownie points, which you can, but you don't have to, exchange in hugs from me. So what is this Armina here doing? It's foraging in the sand. What kind of animal is this? So this is a gastropod mollusk. It's related to the garden slugs in your you know, celery beds. And so just like these slugs on land, these nudibranchs have lost their shell, hence nudie. And there is a massive adaptive radiation in the warm waters of the Indo-Pacific Ocean, meaning a few ancestral species give rise to an enormous number of nudibranch species at this point. So there is high degree of specialization. There's also a high biodiversity in terms of the shapes and colors and patterns on these animals. So these are true jewels of the ocean. You are likely to find at least one or two of these during dives. There are some species which are more common. This amina actually is not particularly common, unlike so many other species though. It comes and goes in waves. So I wouldn't see these for a couple of months and then I would see them on almost every dive. So a number of new pranks are not particularly active. This amina is crawling at a very moderate speed. I actually have another video just out which I sped up the movement of these nidopranks by using time-lapse. So link to that video. Please check it out. Now the question is what would they feed on? So they are at this point in the sand would they feed on sea stars which are quite common sea stars big animals they're not particularly rare they're not gonna go away or alternatively would it feed on sea pens so these sea pens are a type of soft coral they are anchored in the sandy areas and they filter out the plankton out of the water. This is a close-up of the sea pens where you see the individual tentacles which are a you know, filter system for small organisms in the water column. So would Amina feed on that or alternatively would it feed on gobies? Some of you know that gobies are one of my main interests in marine biology. They are very much stuck to their burrows often so would they would Amina surprise them at night and feed them a gobi? Answer in the comments and I will give you the answer to the quiz next week. Please check back.